I'd like to introduce you to uh, uh, Ricardo Oliveri, a oh, good nice. friend of mine, Very and also the person that's actually responsible for this beautiful rifle that we have in front of us. So Ricardo is one of the uh, product engineers of Beretta, and he was really involved in the development of the BRX-1, which is a brand spanking new straight pull uh, rifle from Beretta, limited calipers at the moment, and Ricardo's gonna run us through the paces, but it's really a rifle that I'm so excited about actually coming out here and hunting and maybe giving it that Africa's approved stamp. <laughs> approved stamp, yeah. But it really is a magnificent rifle. Ricardo, tell us a bit more about this. Well, as you can see, I'm, I'm already excited of being here just in the middle of Africa and of course get to try this new thing after... Uh, I've personally been working on the rifle for over seven years and I, now it's happened. It's almost a year that we launched it at the European level and uh, we're finally in South Africa after everything uh, we are here. And, uh, so just just to come back to that, you said seven years in creation. Well, from my side, it was not seven years. The rifle was, uh, the, the project started before. And then when I got to the company, it was, uh, the question was, how do we develop a rifle? And uh, that would be the Beretta answer to the big game, uh, let's say, market. So really a proper rifle for big game hunting that had to be different, had to have several different specs that you don't see in regular rifles. And most mm -hmm. important, the price had to be right. So it was very hard to get to that price point because it was one of the main objectives of the, of the project since the beginning. So, I mean, making a, an expensive rifle is pretty easy. Making a very good rifle at a very good price, it's a whole <laughs> new level of thing. Exactly. So, so tell us a little bit about it. Okay, so this is, uh, as you can see, uh, basically a rifle. In this case, we have three calibers, the, the classic 300s, we can call them, 308, 306, and 300 wind magnum. In this case, we have a 300 Winchester Magnum right here. Uh, the rifle is basically a synthetic stock rifle with uh, what, I, what I like to call a modern repeating rifle. Okay. Which is basically not like any other traditional bolt action where you have to do four movements in order to eject one, uh, exp and expand cartridge and reload another into the chamber. You basically have to do two movements, one and two, that's it. Uh, straight pull would be one of the, of the of the ways to describe it, I simply like to call it modern repeating rifle because there's many things that you cannot have in any other rifle now in the market. So, I'm just gonna walk you quickly through the gun. You know it already, you've shot it. I've had the opportunity to shoot it and one thing I must say about it is the weight and balance, and listen, we shot the 300 wind mag here, which I'm normally not a big fan of. This is undoubtedly the best 300 wind mag I've ever shot in my entire life. So, the felt recoil compared to a normal 300 wind mag is significantly less. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, and there's a reason for that. I mean, everything we did on the rifle, we did it right. We have also, I have also the opportunity to work with many different, let's say, uh, guys that shoot different guns. Pistol shooters, Olympic shooters, uh, clay shooters, hunters, uh, professional hunters, uh, guys uh, in the military, in the law enforcement, everything. And one of the most important things that people often uh, forget in rifles is the balance of the gun. Mm -hmm. So if the balance is correct and the stock measurements are pretty okay for you, the felt recoil will be significantly less. Yeah. In this case, as you can see, uh, well, the rifle is on load, no ammunition on the cartridge, so we can close it. The rifle is pretty balanced with all the weight concentrated in the center of the rifle. So that's very important because at the moment of recoil, you can manage it better. Mm -hmm. You will feel it better also when shooting, so it improves mm -hmm. a many good things. And this is something that we know for sure from the Olympic side and all the sporting clay side of, uh, of the shotgun shooting. Mm. So balance is very important and we apply the same thing here on the gun. So synthetic stock from the back to the front, just very quickly, adjustable uh, length of pull. We also have different pistol grips. All the finishing is very, uh, let's say, uh, soft to the touch and it feels very, very good. Yeah, especially. it really feels comfortable in the hands, especially walking up mountains and being a little bit wet or sweating or something like that, it really feels that you've got control over your weapon the entire time. We have the grip on the necessary parts, so that actually increases the feeling. And another, another detail is if you uh, have a very good feeling of the gun, that also helps on your confidence, so you're also, at, the same, yeah. at the end of the day making also good shots. So, interchangeable pistol grips with a little bit more, uh, let's say, uh, increased checkering on this side. We have a detachable box magazine, which holds five rounds, also on 300 Winchester yeah. Magnum calibers. I also like the fact that, listen, you can load very easily. It's just that top load. So you don't you have can, to slide it back in. You can load from the top, yeah. from the bottom, or you can just drop one in the chamber and load it. So yeah. there's three ways of loading the rifle, basically. Uh, we have a Picatinny rail here with a kind of cant lever that then holds uh, onto the bolt. 
Uh, the gun is comprised of three parts mainly. We have the barrel, the bottom receiver and the bolt. So that's uh, the, the key of the thing. Uh, we have also a very nice bedding which uh, the barrel makes the barrel free floating from uh, where the action finishes onwards. Mm. So this also helps in accuracy. Another important thing that we were able to do on this rifle was, uh, we were talking yesterday, is uh, the barrel is entirely made in Beretta. It's entirely hammer forged. And it's not only the bore that it's hammers for, but it's also the cartridge chamber. That's absolutely brilliant. And for you as the shooter, the benefit of having that is you don't have any of those little uh, burrs that you're going to have to shoot out. So effectively, almost zero shooting. And number two is you can never get an eccentric chamber. Everything lines up absolutely it's perfect. So it comes out of the factory as a true shooter. Yeah, it's, uh, and uh, we were actually very surprised also on the 300 Winchester Magnum by the accuracy. Most of the rifles are shooting, we guarantee one MOA, but most of them are shooting close yeah. to half. In some cases, you can get some of them out of the factory with factory load up. So we had a four shot group in a little bit earlier today when we were sighting the rifle and making sure that we got all the information correct. We shot a, what, a clover leaf at 400 meters. It's absolutely incredible. If you are the, if you are a shooter that can make an MOA or half than that, you will, you will yeah. definitely like this rifle. Well, listen, uh, some of our rifles that we shot are very accurate rifles. I don't think there's many rifles that we've shot that we've actually been able to get a true clover leaf at 400 meters. Well, I mean, that part of the magic, I think it's uh, the bedding itself, how the chamber is attached to the, to the lower receiver. So we have a V-shaped bedding that every time you put the barrel in, it's hold correctly. Yeah. It, eventually in the future, it will be also a multi-caliber weapon. And uh, besides that, it's the hammer forge of the barrel and the chamber itself that in my opinion is the thing that makes this type of rifle unique. The good thing about this is the barrel. That's uh, what we're famous for. That's what Beretta is always been known for. It's the barrel of our firearms. You can yeah. see that it's an excellent uh, example is on the shotgun shooting. So we wanted also to keep the same thing. Entirely made in Italy. There's yeah. no parts made, made elsewhere. We had some rifles in the past, but they were some collaborations with other companies, and then that was it. But this is the first time Beretta is entering the big game market. Yeah, and what was really nice to see is that it's very easy for the, the shooter to actually operate the rifle. So if you need to change the barrel, clean the barrel, do whatever you want, it's a matter of two screws, release it, take it off. Take it off. You put, put it back on, it locks into place tighten the screws and you're off again. The other good thing is that the optic is always attached to the barrel, so when you do that, uh, this, uh, the distance between your groupings shouldn't change more than one MOA. That's what we generally say. Yeah. Sometimes you just put it back again and it'll be spot on. I think also for the shooter, you know, there are some other people that have straight pull rifles and they've got very sophisticated scope mount systems which cost an absolute fortune. This allows the shooter to actually take the scope that they more than likely have, any Picatinny rail, put their scope on their favorite scope for their caliber and they've got it. Or they can have multiple scopes for various calibers. And listen, it's uh, not only that, I mean, the rifle, it's, uh, I call it like a Lego for adults. Basically, yeah. all the parts you see on the rifle, I'm just gonna take it down. Uh, you have, you can also change the Picatinny rail. We, will ha we have on the aftermarket Picatinny rail rings. Of course, in this case, we have a very nice Steiner scope here. Uh, you can also change this Picatinny array, which is in aluminum for a steel one, in case you want a steel one. Or we have also some with the inclination of 20 MOA if you want to just make shots a little bit further. One of the other things about the rifle is uh, that, uh, for example, it gets in my mind for the professional hunter in, in Africa is it's uh, completely ambidextrous. Uh, it has uh, a few features on the safety that we're going to talk later. And the other thing is like, in this case, just going to grab just an ammo just to show you quickly we just can basically remove the, also the trigger group. So if you're hunting in Africa and <laughs> all you need, for, happens, all, any tool you need is a cartridge. The only tool you would need just <laughs> to be in the bush. I don't recommend to do it because yeah. then people lose their parts in the bush <laughs> and then they're hard to find, but you can adjust the weight of the trigger. You can make the rifle completely right-handed to left-handed. And eventually you can also, will be able to change caliber. Yeah. Depending on the application or the type of hunt that you want to do. Let's go through some of the safeties as well. So the intrinsic value, uh, the intrinsic hammer forged uh, uh, rifling as well as chamber. The barrel length? Barrel length in this case is 62 centimeter on the 300 wind mag. Okay. On the 306 and the 308, we have two barrel lengths, uh, 57 centimeters and 51. Okay. I don't know how that translates in, in, in inches it, right now, but that's... Uh, threaded as well? M14 in the front, all barrels are threaded. Perfect. And uh, eventually we're just also working in different variants, but that's going to be 2023 onwards. Perfect. Uh, trigger, another important thing is adjustable in three different weight sets. Uh, there's two things uh, on the trigger. It's a hammer fired trigger. And the other thing very important is we have a 
trigger pull, which is from 900 grams, and you can adjust it up to 1500 okay. grams. So but it really is a nice crisp trigger. It's a, it's, it's a, a very safe trigger for a hunting hunting uh, application. Yeah. But when you feel it, it really is. You've got the take up and then it's a nice crisp break. It actually it, feels a lot less than, than 900. Yeah, and uh, the more you shoot it, then it will stabilize usually at a, at a lower, let's say, level. They, we de declare 900, but sometimes we've seen them to 850. Okay. But it just make it better. The more you shoot the rifle, you will see that it cycles better. Once you break it in, it's a pleasure to shoot. Yeah, and yeah. really easy to set it. I'm just going to assemble it again quickly. So, going back to the safety features of the rifle. Of course, in this case, you see that we have three, uh, two, sorry, two rows of eight locking locks. Yeah. On the Magnum caliber and on the standard calibers will be eight locking locks. Pretty similar to any AR-15 type of uh, closure mechanism. We have so it's very safe, very easy to manufacture. It's something that we've done in the past. Is uh, we got the experience from the military sector, and we also did some did some of the tests that you can see the videos on YouTube or from Beretta, uh, simulating the NATO uh, tests that they they have it have us do for the military weapons, mm -hmm. and they are very strict. And one of the ones. Uh, uh, that we could do without, obviously, it's a minor repeating rifle, it's not a semi, uh, full, uh, fully automatic yeah. rifle. Uh, we did them and the gun passed the test very well. In this case, with this rifle, we did some obstruction tests and we can uh, go above 9,000 BARs, depending on, on the obstruction. 9,000 9, PSR. So that's, BARs, uh, bar, uh, bars. Oh, sorry, 9,000 bars, which is about 100,000 yeah. PSR. Uh, I, I think even more. more. It's, uh, like, yeah. it's around twice the pressure, uh, uh, the maximum pressure of a 300 Winchester magnet. Yeah for safety. So that's a very good thing. The closing mechanism is very good. But when you buy a rifle, you're also buying quality. And uh, this is not a, an, an inexpensive gun. This mm. is, uh, it, the price is very, it's very easy to get, to get, but we're not an entry level rifle. Yeah. But uh, and as Beretta, we, whenever we develop any product, we're also giving a minimum, let's say quality standards that we want our sort of guns to have. Mm. So it can be, uh, let's say very economic rifles. If something goes wrong, you never know, even a bolt action rifle or Whatever. So we just uh, want to be extra sure that, like in 92 pistols or any of our over and under, we're just guaranteeing maximum safety to the user. Yeah. Worst case scenario, because uh, of course we don't know what clients are going to be doing. Sometimes accidents happen. Sometimes people do whatever. Especially when they start reloading, they can mix powder. So that's a very very difficult combination. But hey, yeah. things happen. So. But a lot of the stuff here has been tried and tested in the other products yeah. that you actually manufacture. Safety feature here, a very important one, which is the one I like the most for this type of hunting. And also in Europe, you have on this side, uh, red indicates that the gun is ready to fire. So in this case, no round, okay? We're just gonna dry fire. You pull the trigger and then reload, two movements. The second position is uh, when you see only the white stripe, it's basically your hammer is blocked, your trigger is disengaged. That's also a very important feature. So. No mechanical blocking of the trigger. We're actually blocking the hammer and disengaging the trigger. Okay, brilliant. that's different. Yeah. And the, but you can reload on safety. This is okay. the feature I like the most because when you're going around and everything, and you have to actually operate the the firearm. Yeah. You don't want it to be in a loaded position all the time. I mean, the, the safer you are, the better. It is. Especially here in Africa, I'm already excited. We haven't even gone hunting, so when you get there, your heart starts pumping. So people just uh, it's extra yeah. safety is never. And right. a nice way to actually clear your chamber as well without and having to ever go live. Exactly. And then you have also the final one where you basically block the bolt and then you block okay. the trigger. This is excellent for you know carrying the rifle around in the bush yeah. and everything. And the other one is just for loading and unloading when you are. And the nice thing is that it's so on. visual. It's very easy to see exactly where your gun is at any one stage. So again, if you got maybe a youngster hunting with you and they carry in the rifle, it's very easy for you as the adult to make sure that it's in a, in a safe... Listen, you, you can also adjust the pistol grip and uh, take one of the spacers and you will make it perfectly fit for a, a smaller guy, maybe a lady or a young kid yeah. that's going on safari. So a, the brilliant. gun is very modular and from that point of view, we're very happy. So besides for the safety on that, you said, listen, yeah, it's ambidextrous. You can see by the stock, it's, it's a neutral stock. How does yeah. a person change it to left hand? So it's, uh, I mean, probably... You've seen it, but we're just gonna do it again in Africa because yeah. that's just for the sake of it in Africa. You basically press the cam pin that is on top of the bolt group. You remove the whole cylinder with the ball head. Okay. The first thing we do is we simply slide it to one side, rotate the ball head 180 degrees and slide it back in into this part. So that will be a left ejection. So that even if you wanted to go 
right-handed shooter and you want to eject away from your face, you could even eject it and yeah. on the left. It's, uh, you can adjust the ejection side independently of where the bolt handle side is. Okay. Then to change the bolt handle, you just will need a small tool. In this case, we're using our trusted uh, Saco bullet right here. We just push this button, slide the bolt handle out, put it on the other thing. We push the button again to lock it in place, make sure that it's tight and it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Then we just reassemble the rifle, pressing the cam pin, goes into place. Once that is like that, we put it back again into the rifle. And, and now you're left hand. So that's really that's an that's operation hand. that will take you less than a minute. And something that you can easily do in the bush if you've got multiple shooters. Uh, yes, I mean, it's uh, going back. I mean, if you're a professional hunter, if you are Mark Pledger and I'm left-handed and you invited me to hunt to Africa, yeah. that would be a very easy fix for, yeah. for anybody. Absolutely brilliant. Maybe a possible uh, switch barrel system at some stage. Yes. So if it's a switch barrel system, how do we operate the bolt face? So obviously we go from a standard to a magnum if we're going to go into the larger calibers? Yeah, so uh, on the larger calibers, uh, so all the parts are interchangeable. We go back to the same thing. So in the case you have a 308 and a 306, the bolt face is going to be interchangeable. So you can use the same bolt face regardless of the caliber. Okay. Nevertheless, we decided to supply uh, for, for some of our picky customers out there, we're just going to supply the gun, the barrel, the caliber kit, which is most, it's going to be barrel, magazine, and bolt head. Okay. Of course, if you're changing from caliber, you need a different magazine depending on the type of yeah. caliber. So what the, with these three parts, you can change it. That's, that will be your conversion kit yeah. for caliber. Uh, of course, in the case uh, you order, uh, I don't know, you have a 306 and you order a 308, you will have an extra bolt head. Yeah. You can use them both for an enemy caliber. But on the Magnum, uh, let's say chambers, we only have this type of, uh, of bolt head with uh, two uh, rows of lugs. Yeah. And for now, we only have the 300 Winchester Magnum. But we are looking eventually to expand to some other, let's say, interesting calibers that are out there. Brilliant, man. Also, one nice thing that, that you probably notice, you've got a, an orange, a bright orange uh, magazine. And you know, it's absolutely perfect. If you're walking in the bush and you do happen to drop it for whatever reason, it's, uh, it's very easy to see. But also, the way that you lock it into the firearm is exceptionally good. Yeah. It's uh, one of the things I like the most is five rounds on the magazine and one in the chamber, potentially. So you can have six rounds. The other thing is you just put the magazine inside and it locks up with two buttons, so which means that in order to take the magazine out, you actually have to press both buttons and yeah, take it out. Very uh, good. If you're walking around uh, and uh, maybe with a sling or not, depending what you do, people sometimes you can lose magazines. Uh, yeah. That happens all the time. It's a normal thing. We just try to avoid that. Another cool thing about the, this orange bright color is that it's a visual warning that actually tells you that the gun has a magazine inserted. Yeah and that it's potentially loaded or it can be in a dangerous position. So it's like saying, hey, be careful, you may have a loaded gun out there. You, we know we have to treat all guns if they were loaded, but this is just an extra thing just to, to go there. Yeah. And it's also one of the design main features of the gun. You yeah. recognize it from far once you see that orange accent actually looks very good. Yeah. Cool. Well, listen, the gun is amazing. We've had the opportunity to shoot it in on the range. It really is an unbelievable gun. Now we need to go and actually put it through its paces and see what we can get. Yeah, let's see what but we can get. Thanks for taking the time coming out here. We really appreciate here. everything and we look forward to putting your gun through the paces. Now finally we will get to, to test try this gun in uh, its natural yeah. environment. And listen, what a place. Huh? It's yeah. winter. We it's in winter. Sh <laughs> it's short t-shirts. Slightly wind, so it's yeah. going to be perfect tomorrow. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Thanks right. a lot. Thank you.